um, I usually show y'all integration, sensitization A, sensitization B. Y'all don't get to see a crescent lunge A, crescent lunge B, core pose, or I already said core, balance, uh, spine, <laughs> and then a uh, cool down. Y'all really get to miss the second half of the class because the first half is so heavy, so loaded, so long. But after we uh, get past core, well, that's the best part of uh, power vinyasa to me. Uh, so I always remember it. But look, we here to work together, right? We gonna figure it out. I know a little bit though because I like um, doing <laughs> side plank. I love a good side plank when you uh, take your yogi piece on and you grab your big toe. But yeah, anyways, that's just me. Uh, I got my handy dandy um, cheat sheet right here, but it's all right. I'm just going to use it as a reference. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to do Crescent A and Crescent B today. Um, I'm going to warm up, of course, so I'm probably going to do like one round <laughs> again. Sun Citation A, Sun Citation B. Well, I'm probably just going to do Sun Citation B right into uh, a Crescent Lunge A. <clears throat> so, so I say you should be starts off with a chair pose. Alright, so now we're about to start crescent lunge A. <sighs> so, I don't know if I should do a voiceover to cue or if I should just flow. I guess the whole vo voiceover thing is cool. But, inhale, lift your right leg high. Three limb dog. Exhale, slip your right leg in between both hands. Rotate your back foot so that your heel and your big toe are both on the mat. You know, we're doing crescent lunge. Sorry, you guys, see, I'm so used to doing that. All right, so for three limb dog, inhale, lift your right leg high. Exhale, step your right leg in between your hands. Press your heel off your ground, off the ground. Inhale, lift your chest off of the thigh. Crescent lunge. Exhale, revolved. Crescent lunge. 
Bring your elbow to the outside of your knee, twisting your, your torso to the back of the, the room. Inhale. Where are we at? We went here. Revolve. Okay, exhale. We're going to go into lizard pose or runner's pose, rather. So separate your right foot to the edge of your mat. Place the palms of your hands onto your mat. If this feels comfortable to you, feel free to explore this. If you would like to challenge yourself a little bit more, guide your forearms onto your mat for a deeper stretch into your hips and your growing area. Option two, to press your right hand into the right knee and to allow more space in between your hips and your growing area. And exhale, bring both hands onto the mat. Set both feet back to touch. Dip your hips over to the right side. Inhale, side plank. This is the part I was telling y'all about. So like for my advanced yogi, some will go right where were we? We were here? No, I was here. So boom. Oh, 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 sorry. That's what I did wrong. So from this <laughs> this part right here, you'll take your peace sign and then you'll wrap it around your big toe and you'll rotate and then boom. You gotta find your balance, of course, but you're right there for side plank. Hand to big toe, side plank. And then you exhale, bring everything back to the mat, shift your body weight forward for the top of your chaturanga. Exhale, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, come down onto your mat. We're gonna rest real quick. Reset, rotate your wrist. Option five is child's pose if you want. We're about to go right back into it. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg as high to three limb dog. Whew, this actually feels delicious. I'm gonna sit here for a little bit. All right, so exhale, step your left foot in between your hands, keeping your right foot, your right heel, rather lifted for crescent lunge on the left side. Inhale, slowly lift your torso off of your thigh. Extend your hands overhead. Find your balance, keep your eyes open or close your eyes, whichever you prefer. And exhale, revolved crescent lunge. Guide your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Rotate in the torso. Press to extend. Option to let your bird fly. Extend your arms. Really feel that stretch in your hip flexor and your glutes. And exhale, lizard, runner's pose, whichever you prefer, palms of the hands are on the inside of your feet. Come down to your forearms for a deeper stretch and again to create a balance option to press your right hand, your left hand rather, to the left knee to open and create more space in your hip flexors and your growing. For me, I'm staying on my forearms. I think my baby's up. We got yoga, we got a special guest here today. 
We got Miss Naomi. We got Miss Naomi. Okay. You ain't never seen me do yoga before, huh? You wanna see? Alright. Let's see. Where were we? I was at runner's pose on the left, so I'm just about to do some balancing. Is that okay? You don't care. Downward facing dog. That's why I was at runners. <laughs> You're in the way. You're so cute. I'm gonna do it this way. I'll have more space this way. Yeah, this is fine. Runner's pose. <laughs> she should sit here. Um, yogi peace sign. Big toes. Forearm or palm in your hands, whichever you prefer. I'm gonna stay on my forearms, like I said before. And boom. Right here for a side plank. Good morning. <laughs> and then I'm gonna bring everything back onto the mat. Rotate. You should really feel that in, in your obliques. Come up to the palms of my hand. Uh, where am I at? She just distracted me. Oh. <laughs> um, from here, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale. Exhale, upward facing dog. So downward facing dog. That's why you have one. Oh, she's soothing. She's coming back. So inhale. Walk your toes in between your hands. Sing your hips to a chair pose. Inhale, separate. Your, oh, I can't do it this way. This is a balancing pose. We got a table right there. Hey baby. Hey baby. Hey baby. It's hot in here. Um, chair pose. Boom. Oh, this is um revolved chair pose. So from chair pose, we. We were, where were we? Sorry, we we're in downward facing dog. We walked our feet in between our hands. Inhale, separated our chest off of our torso. Extended our arms overhead. Bring the palms of your hands together. And exhale, bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee for a revolved chair pose to soften the back of the neck. You can look directly to the window or challenge yourself. Really stretch your neck. Look at the ceiling. Take two to three nice deep breaths. And then we're going to exhale if I'm gorilla pose. So you're going to take the palms of your hands and slide them underneath your feet. Bend your knees. Allow the head, neck, spine to just relax. I think, right? And then we're going to inhale, go back to chair pose. And then we're going to exhale, we're going to go into crow. Right? Wait. So, okay, gorilla, sorry. I lied. I lied. Okay, so inhale, chair pose again. And we're going to revolve chair pose on the left. My hip hurt a lot. A lot. It hurts. Okay. From here. Oh, yeah, we're going to go straight into crow pose. So for crow pose, our first balancing pose, we prepped our wrists by doing gorilla pose. Uh, you're gonna plant the palms of your hands onto your feet. Walk your feet up to your wrists until your knees touch the back of your triceps or your biceps. I don't know what they're called until they reach your arm. Your biceps are at the front, so I think your triceps are in the back. Um, and then option, you can stay here for crow pose. Actually, I am extremely high for crow pose. Let me readjust myself. 
Yeah, so um, you can stay here. You can lift your left. Keep your right on the ground. Lift your right. Keep your left on the ground. Actually, I don't even know if I feel comfortable enough going into pro pose. I don't want to bust my face. It's easier when you have skin to skin because it'll stick. But anyways, you want to shift your gaze. If you want to take your crow for a fly, a fly, um, shift your gaze to the top of your mat. Child's pose. Extend. Relax for a little bit. Shake out everything we just built up and worked for. And honestly, I'm going to say, um, what do we say? Namaste. <laughs> I ain't did yoga in so long. I don't even know how we close out of class. Bye, y'all. <laughs>